Everyone, Mr. E here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get started with Tinkercad's totally awesome Sim Lab feature. So the first thing you actually need to do is to create a 3D design, and this hasn't changed at all whatsoever. So in your 3D design, you can grab your shapes, you can manipulate your shapes, do whatever it is that you want the shapes to do. Um, just like you normally would and I have tons of tutorials on how to actually get started and use Tinkercad and everything like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this super basic shape with a angled rectangle and a ball. Okay, so that's really, really great. Then I'm going to enable the SimLab mode, which is this little falling apple icon right here next to our Minecraft mode and our Lego mode. And what we need to do is we need to set the parameters or the material properties here. So I'm going to click on this box and I want this box to be static, meaning that it does not move. So I'm going to click on this little icon here and we can see that now it is rigid. All right. So this box is not going to move the ball. On the other hand, I want to make sure that it is dynamic. So that's this little moving icon. The difference is our static is not moving. Dynamic is moving. And then I can also adjust the material. So for example, I can say that this ball is, let's say, rubber. And then Tinkercad did a really cool feature where they tell you the density and the friction resistance and the volume and the mass and all that fun stuff for each material. Now, when I press play, we can see that the ball rolls and falls just like it would if it was here on the real world. And you can also see that it kind of falls forever and ever and ever and ever. So it fell right off my work plane. Super simple. If I made this box also to be dynamic, we can see that both the ball and the box falls. So really cool that you can have different types of material properties in terms of some things can move, some things don't have to move, which means that we can make super awesome creations like, for example, a pretty cool and pretty simple ramp with the ball that actually rolls into a bunch of dominoes. Now, here's where it gets really cool. You can modify your material properties with different results. So I'm going to make this ramp static so the ramp's not moving. Everything else is by default set to be dynamic. I'm going to make this ball uh, something super heavy, like steel. I'm going to make these dominoes something really light, like polystyrene or styrofoam, right? So we know that this steel ball in the real world will just plow right through these dominoes at a really high velocity. And let's see what happens. That's exactly what happens. Now, if, let me just reset here, I were to make the dominoes steel, and let's say this ball, something like soft wood, what do we think is going to happen? Exactly. The object with less mass can't knock over the object with more mass. So really, really cool simulated physics. Now, the last thing I want to show you is how can you actually start your uh, simulation. Now, so far, everything I've started uh, has been because the ball was falling. What if I didn't want that? What if, for example, I actually made a little platform here and put the ball resting on the platform, and then I want to actually push the ball kind of down the ramp. Or even, let's just say, for example, I made a chain of dominoes, and I just wanted to push the dominoes over. How do you do that? Well, let's go back into our sim lab. When I, and I'm just gonna change my materials again so that way the dominoes will fall over. I'm gonna make these wood and I'm gonna make this, uh, let's see, hardwood. So two different wood densities here. Okay, when I press play, nothing falls over. But if I click, I can throw objects. And they're random objects, so I can throw bananas and I've seen footballs and mushrooms and other objects. So if you don't have something fall to trigger like I've been doing and you actually want to push something, I can just start my simulation and click and then I can actually throw something at my object, which will start the chain reaction and our physics. Super fun. Bravo, Tinkercad.